When blood or fluid pools in the legs and in the feet, it can lead to swelling, skin breakdown, wounds, and even infections. My name is Kelly and I'm a physical therapist and I specialize in lymphedema and lymphatic health as well as oncology. In today's video, I'm gonna share the top exercises to do that can improve circulation and blood flow in the feet and the legs. If you like these exercises and want them as a printable handout or looking for other exercises, you can find these on my website, which I'll link up above as well as down below. Before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below for weekly new videos. You can also follow along with us on Instagram for more resources. So we're gonna go in order from simple and basic exercises, progressing into more movements and higher level exercises. Someone will need to find where or what works best for them and work with a therapist in their area for more personalized guidance. So for the first exercise, I like to do this laying down. It can be done sitting up if someone is able to. Ideally, someone has their legs elevated above their heart. So either with a bolster like this, which I will link this specific one down below in the description box, otherwise just pillows or the legs up on the side of the couch, whatever works for someone. We'll have our legs up elevated, laying down on our backs. And from there, we're gonna do just ankle pumps. And so just bringing the ankles up towards the the head and then pointing them down, going back and forth, or someone can alternate back and forth. That works as well, whatever feels good. You can also do ankle circles, anything to just get the pump, the muscles, excuse me, pumping in the lower legs, the calf areas, the ankles, the feet as well. Get that fluid moving and then using gravity to assist us to get the fluid moving out of the legs and back towards the heart. Another great exercise to get leg circulation in the legs and getting blood flow is to do leg raises. So again, I'm gonna lay down on my back. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one knee bent up, so our foot underneath us, this will help support our low backs for comfort. And then what we're gonna do is keep this other leg straight. We're gonna lift it up towards the ceiling. You can even go to foot, two feet, or even three feet, whatever feels good, but controlling it back down. All the way up and all the way down. We want to make sure that we also keep our core engaged. We don't want our backs to arch up off the mat. So we want to make sure that our core is activated, keeping it nice and flat against the mat or the floor of the bed, and then doing our gentle leg raises up and down. And that will get some blood flow. And after 10 or 15, we can switch and do the same thing on the other side, nice and controlled. One exercise that we can do in standing is marching in place. This can also be done with movement. But we stand it up nice and tall, bringing one knee up to a level, your level of your hip, and then alternating back and forth, keeping your core engaged, and just alternating. This will make sure that we get lower core activated as well as the hips to get some of that blood flowing and mimic walking. So if someone is not comfortable going for a walk, which is a great way to get leg circulation, they can also just do marching and standing marching in place, holding on to something for support. And this can be done 10 or 15 times on both sides, or it can just be done for a couple minutes at a time. Another exercise is hamstring curls. So we can take our knee, bending it back, thinking about kicking our heel towards our bottom, and then alternating back and forth, each side to side, making sure that we alternate because we don't want to cramp up doing all on one side at a time, making sure that we're not bringing our knee too far forward, we're keeping it back and kicking our heel back instead. This will activate the hamstring muscles, which are the back of the thighs and the back of the lower legs as well. As we work down, we can also go down to our ankle areas to get circulation in our feet and in our calves. So one thing to do is hold on, something for balance as needed, going up on the toes, coming down, and then lifting the toes up, going onto the heels. Just going back and forth, getting the activation in the lower legs to get blood flowing and to improve circulation. We wanna make sure that when we go onto our heels, we don't just send our hips back, but rather lift our toes up so we're getting the activation on the top of the feet as well to really get the muscle activation to help with pumping.
Another activity or exercise someone can do is going from either sitting to standing or doing a small squat. So going from a, a chair up to a standing position, maybe five or 10 times, or hanging onto a surface for balance as needed, sending the hips back like there's a chair behind us, and then standing up using our muscles. So sitting back down and then standing up. We wanna make sure that we don't let our knees go in front of our toes, but rather that we sit back and down and then come back up this way. Even just a couple inches down and back up, you can get a lot of muscle activation through the hips and the thighs and the lower legs as well to help with circulation. Another exercise to improve leg circulation and blood flow is to just do step ups or stairs either at a curb or a bottom step. So coming up to the bottom step, we want to put our full foot on the step or as much that fits as possible. If your heel's hanging off the edge, you lose power but also you lose some balance control. So trying to get your whole foot on the step, hanging onto the rail for balance as needed, stepping up and then coming back down and you can do all on one side or you can alternate back and forth. This is a natural functional thing that most people do each day to really help get some muscle activation to improve circulation and blood flow. So those are a handful of great exercises due to improve blood flow and improve circulation in the legs and the feet. Again, you can find exercise handouts on my website to print out and have. If you're looking for more, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone.